Hello, everyone, and welcome to the MSL Society MSL Career Interview Series. The purpose of these videos is actually to share further insights from those companies posting jobs on the MSL Society job board. And our goal is to help you learn what exactly these companies are looking for in a successful MSL candidate. Um, my name is Samuel Dyer, and I'm the CEO of the Medical Science Liaison Society. For those that don't know, the MSL Society is the only nonprofit organization dedicated to advancing the global MSL profession by helping MSLs and managers advance in their careers. We also have the only job board dedicated to the global MSL profession, and our job board is unique in that we only have MSL and MSL management jobs, allowing both employer and job seekers to create highly targeted searches. Today, as you can see on the screen, I'm speaking with Dr. Sharid Hyder, um, who is the Senior Director of U.S. Medical Affairs with Alamera Sciences. Sheree has agreed to spend a few minutes with us to share further insights into what she's looking for at Alamera as the ideal MSL candidate for their MSL job opening. So thanks, Sheree, for, for sharing further details on these MSL roles with us today. Wonderful. Thanks for the introduction. So as we get into this, I think a great place to start um, for those who are listening is to learn a little more about Alamera Sciences, or maybe for those who have never heard of Alamera. Can you tell us a little bit about Alamera? Absolutely. Alamera is a small global pharmaceutical company with U.S. headquarters in Alpharetta, Georgia, which is on the north side of Atlanta. And we have about 150 employees globally based in multiple countries. Awesome. And uh, what therapeutic areas does the company focus on? So we're primarily focused in ophthalmology and specifically in retina conditions. Okay, great. And if we think about the products of Alamera, what, what products does, does the company have approved right now? So we have Illuvian. Illuvian is fluoroacetylone acetonide, which is in an applicator in a unique microdose drug delivery form. And it's been approved in U.S. and in European markets for treating diabetic macular edema, which is a vision loss associated with diabetes. Okay. It's also marketed in the Middle East. And we are preparing to launch a new indication for uveitis in Europe. Interesting. Okay. So is there a little more that you could tell us about the product? Well, this continuous microdosing technology was created to deliver this daily for up to three years by intravitreal injection directly into the eye, and that avoids routine monthly injections for a lot of patients who have diabetic macular edema. Very interesting. Okay, so let's transition a little bit about um, how the MSL team is, is set up. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Absolutely. Well, you see on this screen, myself, Sheree, I'm heading the U.S. Medical Affairs team, and you see the other team members that we have currently, a lovely group of ladies. We've got people in the Northeast, in the West Coast, in the Midwest, and in the Southeast. And we'd I, like to expand now up to five MSLs. Okay. And geographically, where are the, where are the MSLs located? So we have somebody in San Francisco, Denver, New York, Atlanta, and our newest opening would be in Chicago. Very interesting. Okay, so we're looking for Chicago MSL. So <clears throat> tell us, you know, there, there's a lot of discussion and there's, there's, you know, we think about, <clears throat> you know, what does it take to break into the MSL role or what companies look for in MSLs, that there can be um, some differences, obviously, from company to company. So what do you look for in an MSL? So it is a very important role, and you have to have broad skill sets. And they emphasize the scientific and therapeutic knowledge. You also have to have ex excellent communication skills and the ability to think strategically and help solve problems, as well as very strong organization and initiative. 
Yeah, and I, and I think that the <clears throat> for most uh, most um, companies, the the excellent communication skills is something that that certainly um, I think is is a clear skill that separates a successful MSL from from others. What other skills are, are, are you guys looking for? What other skills are desired? So certainly being able to answer questions quickly and being very responsive, searching for information very rapidly, and then accountability is all very vital to the success and delivering the value that is expected within these industry organizations. I think it's great insight for those who are listening to to have the opportunity to hear from the actual hiring manager what she is focusing on um, and the skills that she's looking for in in a successful candidate. Um, let's think about uh, and talk about what makes an MSL highly successful. I mean, I, I kind of mentioned it already, and, and you did as well about the excellent communication skills. But but what what makes an MSL successful? Absolutely. Well, you have to have, again, that broad array of skill sets that allows you to engage in a lot of different activities. And here on this particular slide, you're seeing all the different things that an MSL may be involved in from KOL relationship development, which is really central to our role, as well as conference coverage, doing educational programs, generating and disseminating real world data, clinical discussions, research, supporting commercial, especially with training and um, a variety of additional projects. So you really want people that are well-equipped to dive into just about anything and make quick turns when they need to. Yeah, absolutely. There's a lot of also discussion on MSL activity. A recent survey that the MSL Society conducted, a global survey on the activities of MSLs um, was there was clear some 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 clear consistency that regardless of company type, regardless of therapeutic area, um, and regardless of geographical area, um, there's pretty consistently on what the activities of MSLs do. But how would you summarize the MSL activity focus? Thanks. Yeah, and so MSLs really are poised communicators and educators. That's the big focus there. They're involved in research from concept to data analysis and dissemination. They're generating data, assimilating the meaning, translating the information into usable, relevant medical and scientific answers, and then finally disseminating the data both proactively and reactively depending upon the approved labeling. So there's a lot of components to that, but you see central to that, as you had mentioned earlier, is the communication element. Yeah, absolutely. And I think it's a really, really important uh uh, point to highlight. And again, I think it's really important to hear from the actual hiring manager that this is a, a primary focus and certainly will contribute to the success of not only the MSL ultimately in the field, but also um, it sounds like during the interview process, you're going to be looking for that as well. Absolutely. So finally, let's think about, um, you know, as, as you think about the MSL role, how would you sum up the MSL role? I mean, we've talked about communication and some of the activities and, and what's going to make them successful, but how would you sum it up? So there truly are the medical and scientific resource source for an organization with that primary focus on developing strong KOL relationships that align with the business needs and support an approved product or one that's under research our MSLs really have the opportunity to develop that deep scientific knowledge that makes a difference for patients with diabetic macular edema or any other area we choose to go into. And that's through the delivery of scientifically accurate and meaningful data that aids clinicians' treatment decisions. That is a lot. And, and I think that it's, it shows and demonstrates um, the true value of, of an MSL and certainly the way that Alamera Sciences looks at the MSL function, um, which is, I think, very consistent uh, across the other organizations as well. Um, any final words or thoughts? So I just wanted to reiterate that we're really currently seeking that 
you know, ideal candidate for our Chicago Great Lakes MSL position to support Alluvian and join a stellar team of high-performing MSLs that are poised and ready to serve and engage. Awesome. Sounds like a great opportunity. And for those that uh, are listening, um, we, we certainly um, hope that uh, that we that you found this valuable Um Sheree, um, again, thanks for, for taking the time and sharing insights um, on what you're looking for in the next candidate um, for the Chicago MSL role at Al- Alamera. Um, for those that are on the line and listening to learn more about these roles, you can visit the MSL Society Career Center. You see the URL there. Um, if you feel like that you match well to the position um, we certainly encourage you to to reach out and apply, and you can learn more about the roles on on the Career Center. So, again, Sheree, thank you very much for for taking the time to speak with us about these roles. Thank you.